Um, in this section, uh, let's take a look at a few uh, examples for the uh, exercising our uh, formula uh, V equal to T L over G J, and that is based upon uh, this uh, template. Basically, one end is fixed against the wall. The torsion applied, the length of the shaft is L, uh, rigidity modulus G and then the polar moment of inertia of the cross section J. Okay, and then here we're going to calculate is the angle of the twist uh, <coughs> of this uh, shaft. And also we exercise the tau equal to TR over J. And given any cross section here is we consider uniform shaft. Then this is the center here and this is the torsion, this is the top. So at any point away distant from the center R, the magnitude uh, equal to tau's function of R, TR over J here, okay, and in linear proportional. The maximum <coughs> at the outer surface for solid, minimum equal to zero, for Hollow, for hollow shaft, that is the inner core. So we exercise here. <coughs> uh, before we look at the more examples here, I want to get the further uh, descriptions of um, application of our generic formula here and this one. Okay. Again, this is our template. We only consider the for this template is composed of. <coughs> Uh, this end A and this end B and end A against the wall so no angle of the twist so here this equal to zero because against the wall and so here we measure the angle of the twist phi at B here so phi B basically equal to phi B the relative to A plus phi A okay and for this case, because phi A is fixed against the wall, that is the boundary condition, so this number equal to zero. So basically here, what we calculated, phi B relative to, to A, this one basically is based upon this model here. We take the free bar diagram of this shaft, okay? And then this is the torsion here that we apply here, and the other torsion due to equilibrium is this one. So based upon this, um, template we have V equal to TL over GJ and T equal to TL over GJ and what is V here? So here I want to be more specific. For example, if this is the end B, this is end A. And you can say that is the basically representing is the relative angle between B and A. Okay? Uh, relative angle of the twist between B and A or B uh, or A and B, etc. So basically, in terms of the relative angle, that is this is a quantity we given in our formula here. <coughs> and using this relative um, relativity, this kind of expression that will allow us to do a little bit more examples. So keep this in mind. And so now I want to continue to look on this one, and then we look at this model here. So let me give more uh, the these things here. So here, uh, so assuming this is the length, and let me say this is the length uh, L, and in terms of the AB, and they have the rigidity modulus, for example, say as also is a function of AB and it has the um, polar moment of inertia AB. In a similar way, this has the length L, okay, BC, and GBC, and JBC, uh, etc. Okay. And for example, if here we consider is under a torsion T, then we take the free bar diagram. So first one, I take this free bar diagram, okay? So that free bar diagram is like this one here. So that is the torsion T, and that is the equilibrium torsion T here, and moving in these directions, okay? So for this case, you can see, let me say this is the end C, this is the end B. <coughs> so in terms of our template, the angle of twist is the, um, this formula T L over G J. 
and for this one you simply pick up all the information pertaining to shaft BC which is here so that means J you pick is this L is the shaft pertaining to the BC is this one G is this one okay and then here for <coughs> This fee, that is based upon template, and using our previous example, basically this representing is the angle of the twist relative to the two ends. So here, let me use the symbol C relative to B, okay? Again, phi equal to TL over GJ. That is our generic uh, formula. Applied to this free bar diagram that representing angle of twist, representing is the angle of twist between the two ends here. Okay. And then we continue on take free bar diagram of AB portions. So free bar diagram of AB portion here. And the same thing, and that is the action reaction. So basically move to here, that is the torsion transmitted to here. And due to equilibrium, the torsion is here. The same thing. Uh, given this one, we using the same template V equal to T L over G J. And again, for this one, you pick up whatever the information pertaining to shaft A B. G is this value, whatever the given. J is whatever the calculated. L is the length of the shaft A B. Um, so that can allow us to do the calculation. So now again. Here, I want to be more specific. So this is the calculated angle of twist. What does it represent? It represents, this is the AB, okay? That really represents is the angle of the twist between the two ends, so B relative to A. Good, okay? Based upon this, and then we know that because we look at this particular example, and here, because A is fixed against the wall, so any angle of the twist at A should be equal to zero because that cross section here simply attached to the wall, no rigid body rotation. <coughs> so now, for example, now with the old information, this one, uh, two, and three pieces information together, is, let me ask you one question. So the question one is this, what is the angle of twist at uh, B okay so this one basically we're looking for is phi B and if you utilize the relativity so B is relative to A plus phi A so under this put for this particular example uh, because this number equal to zero so this one you obtained is from this one here Okay. <coughs> then in the similar way, uh, question two, what is the angle of the twist? What is the angle of twist at point C? Okay, in the similar way, the angle of twist at point C equal to C relative to uh, B plus uh, B relative to A plus VA. Okay, and again, the VA for this particular Example equal to zero and phi b. This one you can obtain from this. This one you can obtain from this. Okay, so basically that is the application of this. So basically here in our formulas in our textbook, it usually have this symbol. So for two segments, you simply add together at phi c here is summations i equal to one to two two shaft and TL over GJ, and that one for whatever the, <coughs> the the number of the shaft, you simply pick up the proper information to here. Okay, so simply that is the the one we're showing here. So say if you have uh, multiple numbers of the shaft, then you simply extend to whatever the number here, just like we've seen here, okay? So for example here, if we consider multiple uh, pieces in between, so basically, Say, let me say this is still NC and this is NA, whatever the in between the numbers, uh, whatever. So basically, the, the, this one is under twisting of the torsion applied to NC. So under this situation, V will be equal to TL over GJ. And so, say for whatever the numbers, say this is shaft one, shaft, uh, 
a portion Q and then this is portion N. So that is I equal to 1 to N. Okay, so that is this case and for each shaft. And then under this case, we can further have the derivations. Let me <coughs> uh, do this. So assuming uh, you can see the infinitesimal shaft, so each have the dx here. Okay, so that is very small. So basically from here you can see the Vc uh, basically equal to, uh, that is T, and right now it's replaced L by dx, okay? Um, okay, so that is the four uh, Gj, and for this shaft, and say one, and T, dx, and Gj for shaft number two, okay, the number one, number two, plus etc, etc. Okay, and for number one, basically that is the position the x here. So here we can replace, that's a T, dx, and G, x, and D, uh, <coughs> T, dx, and g could be the function of the positions x. And j, again, that is a function of x. And here, those summations, basically, we introduce is by taking the uh, integral. So basically, here, that is our formula. Again, in our textbook, we have a such integral form that applied to a continuously changed uh, parametric shaft here.